close to heaven and there's something calling you were you strong enough to see it through cause I was weak I couldn't see anything I took the long way home to you so Morning, Jose. How you doing? Good morning, Mr. Abraham. How are you? I'm good. What is the whole Mr. thing? You wouldn't have called me that a month ago. A month ago, you were just Jake. I still am. Save the Mr. Abraham for my father. All right. All right. Hey, we still on for lunch? Of course. Wouldn't miss it for anything. Okay. We'll uh, see you in about an hour. Sounds good. I've never seen such a change. Jake Abraham wasn't always this way. His brother, Seth, well, he was born good from his mother's womb, but Jake, well, Jake grew up with a chip on his shoulder as big as a Sierra Madre's. It wasn't that long ago when it all blew up. They're not doing much out there. No, we, uh, we had a glitch. They're just standing around. It's frustrating. Uh, uh, just... Take him some waters, tell him to relax, we'll, we'll get this thing sorted out, okay? All right. Has anybody seen Jake? Oh, I would hide if I were you. Your brother's been looking for you. He's in one of his moods. Ah, uh, that's a shock. I'll be in here. Jake, you changed the invoicing program. Yeah, I told you I was going to. You did it even though I asked you not to. I know, and now we have a more efficient system. Well, that's not acceptable. Okay, what do you want to do, Dad? You, you want to fire me? We're not selling widgets, Jake. We're selling the best grains and produce in the state. And this program that you brought yeah, and in... The new program is faster than the older one, so what's the problem? No one knows how to use it. So we missed another order this morning because you haven't properly trained... Do you people. expect me to do everything around here? No. I just expect you to do your job. Well, you're up early. You've got to be kidding me. Mrs. Gray, why did you let him in? What's the matter? Somebody not doing their job? If you're here to chastise me, Dad beat you to it. You know, he didn't get that order in. I know that. Means we got guys standing around doing nothing today. I heard that, too. It costs us money, Jake. I know. You know, this could have been avoided if you'd gotten here on time today. Instead of... Rolling in late, hungover. Great. Anything else? <laughs> I 
told you to hide. Why don't you ever knock? Why should I? <sighs> so you don't give me a heart attack. Mrs. Gray, I tend to daydream, and believe it or not, you're not the girl I'm on the beach with. I like beaches. Not gonna happen. Well, we got a problem. The engine parts for the tractor have not arrived, and the acreage in the south field is scheduled for planting when? Tomorrow. Okay. Um, tell Seth to have the foreman take care of it. They'll get some responsibility. Need I remind you that this is something else that could have been avoided? If I'd shown up to work on time, I know. The rest of us have been here since seven. Forget it. Call Benward. Order the parts. No, Benward, no. Yeah, if we go with Benward, we can get the engine fixed today. They use cheap materials. It won't even last one season. Well, you know, it's either that or we leave a field full of workers doing nothing all day. Seth won't like that. I don't care what Seth thinks. Just do it. Oh, someone's testy. Hey. Hey. Have you thought any more about our conversation yesterday? Which one? About the extra vacation week. Well, I just thought it was only fair. I've been working in these fields since I was five. You're always devising ways to get away from here. Why is that? It's nothing to do with you, Dad. I'm just... This isn't my life. Well, what is your life? I don't know. Something more interesting than vegetables. You know, farming is not glamorous, I'll give you that. But it's noble work we do, and it's necessary. Yeah, I know. And I know that it's your dream to have me stay and work on this farm, but it, it's not mine. And for once, I would love to be able to go out and have a good time and not come back home and expect a sermon, you know? I'm not expecting you to be perfect, you know? I'm no. so glad you found time to take a break from your busy day. Oops. You're coming with me today to talk to the customers. Why? Because they're going to be mad, and I'm tired of covering for you. Yeah, well... I don't deal with customers, so too bad. Well, then what is it you do here? Hmm? You know what, Seth? I wouldn't expect you to understand what I do, especially since you never... Never what? Nothing. No, come on, please, say no. it. Huh? Never what? Never went to college? No, I had to stay here and work. I didn't have the luxury of wasting time hanging out at parties and skipping oh, classes. Yeah. No, you're right. Hey, Seth, thank you. Thank you so much for sticking around. Because we all know how hard it is to find someone who can drive a tractor. Seth, you're a disgrace to this family. Admit it, you're jealous. Yeah? Yeah, is you always it? have been. Come on, yeah. show me say how it. jealous I, want I am. You to say it. Come on. You're jealous, yeah. admit Stop. it. Just go. What are you waiting for? Just leave. Make our lives easier and just get out. I'm sorry, Seth. I didn't know that was yours. Don't worry about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I switched back to the old invoicing program. Oh, man. Um, you know, Seth got that hot temper. Yeah. You know, he's got a point, though. <laughs> I don't know what I'm still doing here. 
What do you mean? I mean, I want to leave. <laughs> you can't just do that. Yeah, I can. And I want to. I mean, I... I need to live my life, and I'm not doing that here. I quit, Dad. And since I'm quitting, maybe we should talk about a severance package. It usually doesn't work that way. Well, I, I need some money to get started, make some investments. How, how much are you asking for? What about my inheritance? I take that now, I can double it or more by the time I would have received it. Hmm. I, I have to think on it. Okay. Think about it and let me know. Because either way, I'm gone as soon as I get my stuff together. This is Gray. Would you get Mr. Ferris on the phone for me? I'll take it in my office. Sure. Will do. So how's Seth doing? How are his roses? The garden's beautiful. Hey, Mr. Ferris. Jay. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. So, uh, so how's this all work? Well, there's a few steps that we have to take. Well, how many steps can there be? At the bottom of the page here is what you're going to be receiving as your share of the inheritance. You're going to get it all in one check, but there is some paperwork that we have to do to finalize all this. You sure you want to do this? Yes. Yeah, I told you I was. Okay. I'm your father. You know? I love you. I want to make sure you're all right. I'm fine. Okay? I'm an adult. I can take care of myself. All right. Mr. Ferris, go ahead and draw up the papers. They'll be ready first thing in the morning. Thank you, Jay. And this is for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fool and his money. You know where you're going to live? Not yet. I'll figure it out. Here, take this. This is Grandpa's watch. Yeah. I want you to have it. Does it even work? <laughs> yeah, it works well. But uh, mostly just, uh, just take it. I want you to have it. Thanks. A lot of people are going to miss you, Jake. A lot of people. Come on, Dad. It's better for everyone that I'm going. You're not doing this for us. OK? No, you're right. I should, I should get going. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna drive careful. I
Andy Greenberg, and I'm going to change the way you think. You know how often you have read and people have told you, believe in yourself. That's right. You tell it to people, people tell it to you. Well, you know what? That's absolutely wrong. I used to be that a man's word was his bond. But in the city? I mean, it's still that way in the rural areas, but in the cities? You better watch out for the sharks. As I was saying, don't let women beguile you. Some women use men. In other words, they can outuse their abusers. Because if you're obsessed with what somebody else has, instead of with what you have, you'll never be happy, you'll never be at peace. We all want to connect with other people, but the great thing about family connections is they are utterly indestructible. You can't take away them. All the dreams that we had, all the future with no end. You got to know, baby. Confidence and choices marked us forever. And we never get a chance to be the same, baby. And the future come with to be in your arms you don't know I will come to make you smile And to be in your arms you don't know Everything's gonna be alright Come to be in your arms you don't know in the one. Yeah, I'll take it. Excellent. But will it go with your new sports car? Which is your favorite out of these here? My favorite? Yeah. This piece here. It's stunning. If I could, I'd get it for myself. It is beautiful. I'll take that as well. Is it for your wife or girlfriend? It's for you. <laughs> for me? Yeah, for you. You're joking. No. <laughs> you look like you deserve it. Oh my gosh.
Who is she? Oh, that's Laura. She's an actress also. Really? Mm -hmm. We recently worked together on a film called A Box for Rob. Frank, this is Jake. Hi, Jake. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. So, you enjoying yourself? We are, yeah. Well, you should be. You have lovely company. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get you anything, let me know. Okay, will do. Ariel. Yes. Compass table. So, an actress, huh? Mm hmm. You really like her. Yes, it's obvious. Cheers, ladies, to a great night. <laughs> Drink up, we need another bottle. When the boys, how they would come for a chance to stroll that girl downtown. Can I buy you a drink? Do I know you? Not yet. I'm Jake. Laura. Laura. You knew the city? Just moved, actually. What do you do? I do lots of things. Okay. Oh, well, how about your job? Okay. I'm an investor. Stock market? Amongst other ventures, yeah. Are you any good? <laughs> Nowhere yet. I've been staying at the Lux. Nice. Why, you know of anywhere decent? Do you have a pen? There is a condo for sale in the building where I live. Your building? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a, a leap of faith, don't you think? <laughs> I could be a serial killer. So would I. So I hear you're an actress. <laughs> what have you heard? <laughs> oh, just that. You been in anything I might have seen? I could be. Probably not, but I will be. Good night, Jake. Hi, Frank. He's gone down the wrong path, Sid. Hey, trust God. You know, at Passover, we were instructed to smear the blood of a lamb on the doorpost. But what most people miss is that blood was for the whole mishpacha, for the whole family. Trust God. When was the last time you heard from your son? your condo. Congratulations. I did. Thanks to you. Now you owe me. I big, do. Big, 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 big. Ah, see, I didn't realize that. Huge. Okay. Bye.
Barely had an inch of rain in the last three weeks. They're the ones who've been the financial and the health demise of America. And together, using the 90 essential nutrients, we can save America. If you want a healthy energy drink, we have a healthy energy drink. Rebound has 100 nutrients in it. All the other win world that you live in, but now it's time to go home. Return to your traditional moral values. Don't wait any longer. You gotta go, okay? Now, when we come back, we'll be talking with Mark Andrew Olson. He is the co-author of Animal Colony. Now, it's a quick read allegory with a phenomenal track record of transforming liberals into conservatives. And that's coming up next, straight ahead. Now, thecancermd.com, and you'll receive a free newsletter for the top 10 cancer warning signs. How it is, one day you can be on top of the world, and the next day, the world's on top of you. I was talking with a man just yesterday who had come into a lot of money, and he didn't know how to treat that money. In fact, he flaunted it. And believe me, he didn't like the results of that. I told him, you know, you want women to like you for who you are, not for what you have. Otherwise, you're gonna attract the wrong kind of woman. Having a hard time figuring out what you want? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. This is my first time in here. Well, what are you in the mood for? I don't know. Something with a little style. <gasps> what about a raspberry mocha? <laughs> yeah. That sounds stylish. No, how about um, an espresso romano? So, do you live nearby or just passing through? Yeah, I bought a place a couple doors down. The Plaza building. The whole building? <laughs> no, 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 just one condo. Uh, um, that will be $4.50. Uh, do you need change? Uh, yeah, sorry. That's all I have. Can you break it? Yeah, it's fine. All right, sorry about that. Oh, do you have Wi-Fi here? Yep. This is the password. And Hello? here's your change, oh, okay, Mr. Trump. <laughs> you know, Donald's just an alias. My friends call me Jake. Well, if any of those friends come in, I'll have the maitre d' escort them to your table. Please do. <laughs> I'm Summer. I'll be your barista. Sorry, I just, uh, I came over to borrow some eggs. Eggs, eggs yeah. Yeah, <laughs> some neighbors borrow eggs from each other from time to time, so. I was gonna do that. When do I get them back? The eggs, because you're, you're borrowing them. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, I just, I, I wanted an excuse to see you. You need an excuse to see me? Do you want to have dinner with me? Of course you'll have dinner with you. 
Frank. Welcome to the neighborhood, Jack. Thank you. Uh, you know, pal, you better get a better game on. They're just kind of weak. Yeah. Happy scrambling. See you, Frank. <laughs> Take care, babe. Frank. So, um, you want those eggs? Uh, yeah, eggs. Yeah, come on. Good. Okay. Two, three, dozen. We're going to take care of you, Sam. We have a nice severance package. You've got a lot of skills. You should be able to find something long before the money runs out. Thank you. It's going to work out. It's been an honor to work for you. It's been my honor, too. What's wrong with Sam? I had to let him go. We're that bad off. What's the drought, Seth? We're producing half as much as we usually do. You know, we have live music right. here. Everybody give it up for Karen. Great job. Hey. Sorry, did you say something? Or... I said we have live music here. Yeah. The singers, it's, you know, kind of what they're here for. Right. <laughs> I see how that might look bad. I wasn't listening to music, though. You were playing a video game. I'm researching. What, the effect of uh, video violence on impressionable minds? Impressionable? Pretty sure I moved past impressionable a few years ago. Thank you. But no, uh, this is a company that I bought stock in, and they make a lot of these games. Apparently make millions off of them. Off of video games? Yeah. See, I study what the market wants, right? And uh, this is a beta version that's due out next week. So, you think it's going to be a big hit? I think that it's going to make over 200 million in sales in the first week. So, yeah. All right. You're on. If you're right, free Romanas for a month. Okay. And if I'm wrong? <laughs> then you have to get a real job. Right here, blessing table. <laughs> oh yeah, my father would be proud of that. Father? Yeah, he seems to think I'm mortified by manual labor. Mm. And he's right. And it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna lose. Oh, that's awfully confident. Besides, I bought a thousand shares already, so. What? <laughs> what if you lose? I'm not going to. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so say this big gamble goes bad. What do you just move back home? No. No. Because it's not going to. Trust me. It's not that I don't have faith in your um, ability. But I mean, you know, it's not really like you have any control over it, right? I mean, it's just. Well, there is some um, inherent risk, yeah, but... Alright, uh, worst case scenario, 
I break even, or I lose some cash in the short term if the game doesn't sell as well as I think it will. Which won't happen because I'm not gonna lose. Yeah, you just lose 10, 20 grand. No big deal. <laughs> so, how did you make all this money, anyways? Rich parents? It's alright, it's not. None of my business. No, no, it's fine. Um, I left home with a good chunk of change. Must be nice. It's not like that. I mean, I came here for a reason, you know, obviously. I don't know, I had to get out of there. It's just stifling, you know? Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Why don't you move here anyway? Same reasons. You know, just had to get out. You know, do something on my own. I find myself, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyways, my shift is up, so I'm gonna go to this thing. Uh, it's a book fair. <laughs> book fair? Are you, are you in middle school? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, there's gonna be some cool authors there, you know. You should come. Uh, It'll be fun. Yeah, no, it, it definitely sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be there. So I'll be back up so. Okay. to get out and do something different, you know? This certainly is different. <laughs> well, <laughs> I love books, so... <sighs> I just have enough for one. One book? Yeah. Well, you're not gonna get one book. I got this. You really don't have to do that for me. No, I want to. <laughs> Especially since you're gonna end up owing me a month's worth of Romanos. You, right. you remember that deal. Oh, yeah. Don't I forget. forget. I do. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, just make it out to summertime. That's really bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't disappear. So who should I make this out to? Summer squash. And who's this for? Summer lovin'. The Sicilian Nobleman's Daughter. Yep, it's a good read. I'll add it to the collection. Mm -mm, nope. Actually, I'm going to buy this for you. Just kind of my way of saying thank you to my nobleman. It's cute. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to get all of them. <laughs> Don't mention it. Hey, Mr. Foster. Hello, dear. Nice to see you. Me too. Did you hear about the book signing? That's why I'm here. I see your friend took advantage. <laughs> sure did. Just can't get enough of the good word, huh? Nope, sure can't. <laughs> uh, Jake, this is Mr. Foster. Very nice to meet you, Jake. Good to meet you. Jake's new in town. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. Do you have a church home yet? No, no, I don't well, yet. Well, you would certainly be welcome at the New Life Fellowship. It's right down the street on the right. You should come. It's perfect for people that just want to dive right in. I hope to see you. Okay. You take bye. care. Yeah, bye. -bye. bye.
You ready? Yeah. Hey, Seth. In the seat. Well, if these are the projected numbers, then uh, there's not much more we can do. We have another option, Ned. No, Seth. Come on, use it. We're not going to use your money. It's either this or we lose everything. I would rather lose everything than leave you with nothing. This farm is my life, Dad. You let me drive that tractor when my feet could barely reach the pedals. I grew up here. I'm going to die here. Come on, babe. Let's hurry up. Let's get this over with. Well, for you, maybe. I'm tired of going to these things. Okay, I'd like to stay home one night. Who brought you these things? Mom? The flowers. Where'd you get the flowers? Oh. Jake brought them to me. He zipped me. He wanted to thank me for recommending the place. Mm. How nice of him. A little skimpy, don't you think? He never complained before. Not you, the flowers. You're a big, big, big investor. I mean, look at it. Looks like you got him at a Kmart. He seems pretty good at what he does, you know? He could be useful for both of us. Yeah, you're always looking on an angle, aren't you? You love the car he drives. Really? What's he drive? A Maserati. Come on, let's go to this thing. Come on. You like the dress? I like Lucy. Ooh, I think it's a good chair. Nice to see you again. The usual? Please. Can you get to go? Sure. You're not sticking around to check your socks? Nope. I got somewhere to be. A little world conquering seminar. What's wrong with your friend? I don't know, he's, he's been weird ever since the bookstore the other day. What happened at the bookstore? I don't know. Maybe he's got a lot on his mind. You take care. Hey, I wouldn't go in there, not a good time. We got a problem. The engine on the tractor's dead. I thought we had gotten a new one. We did, but Jake ordered from Benward. Well, didn't somebody tell him about that? I them? tried to, but he didn't want to listen. Well, how bad is it? We gotta replace the whole thing. We don't have the money. Well, we gotta find it somewhere. We're done. Right, figure something out. Sometimes the best way to find out what somebody's thinking is to ask a little bit indirectly. When we yes. ask people to rate the economy, if their company is hiring, they say the economy's in good shape. If their company is laying off, well. They say the economy's in poor shape. So if you want to know what somebody thinks about the strength of their own company, ask them how the economy is doing. Any interest in sharing this with me? Oh, you're celebrating? I'm celebrating. Okay, what are you celebrating? Oh, nothing, just... Uh... Made a killing today. Mm. How much of a killing? Let's just say I could have sailed over here in my new boat. If I wanted to. Really? Yeah. So, um, you're gonna uh, celebrate with bad champagne? Bad champagne? Yeah, really bad. The guy at the store said this was good. No. No? Mm. Okay. I actually have an idea of how, um, we could better spend your money. You do. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to party. Prove it.
Jake, this is Evan. He wrote the yeah. amazing movie script I was telling you about. So what is this amazing script about? Well, it's about the hollowness and angst of living in today's world, with all the, the pressures that come with the chaos that's swirling all around us. It's about the inner luminosity that we have going dark and coming out. It sounds deep. There's a great role for a lead actress. I know it's gonna make a lot of money. We just need to get some investors behind it. It's got box office hit written all over it. These are the kinds of scripts that are trending all over the world. Sounds great. We just need to find a lead investor to show other investors that someone believes in the project. And then other investors are just gonna jump on board. A lead investor. So this is the better way to spend my money? Well, it's not a lot of money. It's just enough to break the ice. How big an ice pick are we talking here? Well, from what I understand, it's about a day and a half to work for you. A good day and a half, maybe. <laughs> Should do it. Well, why don't you do it? Oh, I've uh, had my time in show business. I'm in the restaurant business now. You should help Laura. She's a great actress. Good night, Ben. Listen, the, the best thing about being a lead investor is that you would have to meet with other investors. You know, people with a lot of money around here, which is definitely the circle you want to run in. That's true. Probably get you involved in some of their projects, too. You know? You could be somebody important. Still, that it's a hefty chunk of change. Yeah, but think about all the rewards. The market indexes are up today for the sixth straight session. It's seven o'clock. Good morning. And it's time now for our success profile of the day. And on the phone with us right now is author, speaker, and world renowned personality, Dr. Joe Wallach. Dr. Wallach, tell me a little bit about these new products and the benefits that they bring. I'm here to teach you how to live to be well beyond 100 chronologically, say 110, 120, 130, 140. 150, 160 will be biologically 30, 40, 50. If you have problems, if you're a baby boomer, you were born between 1946 and 1964, you have a problem because you've listened to doctors. You've listened to doctors. You've lowered your cholesterol and you've gotten Alzheimer's disease, type 2 diabetes, and erectile dysfunction. You have every cell in your body is unhappy because of every cell. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Rough night. Something like that. The usual? Yeah. Um, can you make it a double this time? <clears throat> it's wrong. You don't seem like your normal self. Nothing. Just have a lot going on. seem as happy as you were when you first moved here. I'm, I'm happy. Really? Yes, really. Jake, I, I want to be here for you. I want to help. Yeah, I, I know. Look, I, I don't know what's going on. But I think that you should just let God handle all of it. I mean, he knows how it's going to end. You really sound like my father right now. You know what I think? What? I think that this is going to be good for you. What is? Just being away from your family. You know, it will remove all the distractions and maybe 
Make you come face to face with yourself and find your purpose. You know, you don't have to worry about me. Okay? I'm fine. Well, my small group is getting together later. You should come. Yeah, uh, maybe. I just... Maybe another time. I, I have a lot to do. I just uh, thought that it would be nice to spend some time together. You're right. I just... I have to... Wait, hold on. It's summer. Hey. I'm, I'm gonna try to make time for you. I just, I have a lot that I'm trying to balance right now, so, um, it'll happen. sure what I'm looking at, but I'm guessing that I'm going to be owing you some free coffee. All month long, baby. Well, then I expect my tips to be a little bit bigger, baby. <laughs> I will consider that. Stop by later on. That'll be fun. Hey, um, if you've got a minute, stop by. There's someone I think you should talk with. Okay. Bye. Is he coming by? Yeah, he'll be here in a few minutes. Do you want ice? Uh, no, I'll take it in the evening. I think it's worth doing this, huh? Yeah, he made 80 grand in one day. Looks like he knows how to make some money. You think it'll help you with the movie deal? Yeah, I do. Well, let's hope for the best. Larry, uh, get the paperwork prepared. A guy named Jake Abraham will be in tomorrow. Yeah, the amount we, uh, we, we discussed. I understand that. Oh, I think this guy's a winner. Okay. There you go. You won't regret it. I'm sure I won't. Let's celebrate. You celebrate. thought to the movie? Maybe. Mm. Why? Because I invited the producer. He's over there. You did. Mm. <clears throat> Give me a minute, would you? Why?
Hello, dear. Hey. Have you seen today's paper? No. Is that your friend's family? Oh. Um, sorry, I, I have to go. Hello, boys. Enjoying the party? Just talking shop. You? Uh, Jake, right? Huh? Yeah. Some dude just yakking your dishwasher. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty sweet. Great. <laughs> you just want me to run the dishwasher? Yeah, yeah, fine. Alright. Oh, uh, running on pots and pans. Alright, sorry. Really gets in there. See, Ken, what I'm saying is if we get a lead investor to put some money up for the project and show that they really believe in it, then other investi investors, <laughs> they'll put money up too. They'll be on board. It's not a lot of money, just enough to break the ice.
another hangover? No. No, I, I just don't feel too well. Could I get another no. one? What do you mean, no? Jake, forget the coffee. I'm, well, I'm trying. You really stepped up the service in this place, haven't you? You know, I thought that you were a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, you can be a jerk sometimes, but... Jake, you really don't have to keep living your life like this. What are you talking about? Look, you came here to make something of yourself. Yeah, and, and I am. Are you? You know what? I really don't see how this is any of your business to begin with. Well, no. No. Okay? It's not. Don't think that you can change me somehow. Like, you can make me a better person. All right? I'm fine on my own. You understand? What's all gone? Money. What do you mean? I mean the company lied to the SEC about how much capital they had on hand to make this big deal. They wanted to inflate their stocks artificially so that they could use it to borrow against. That way they would have enough money to manufacture the product. What are you talking product. about? I'm talking about they lied. Laura, they lied and the government found out about it. So? So the assets, the stocks. Everything is frozen by the SEC, which means you and I now own shares that mean nothing. We can't do anything with it. We can't share them. I mean, we can't, we can't trade them. We can't sell them. They're stuck. Okay, they're stuck just sitting there in the account doing nothing. It'll take a lawsuit for us to get our money back. How long is it going to take? Months. Years even. Who knows? Even then, we'll only get pennies back on the dollar. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're toast. No, you're toast. Frank made the investment on your recommendation. Yeah, well, he knew that it was a risk. He can't hold that against me. Do you understand what an idiot you've made me look like in front of all of my friends saying that we're going to go forward with this movie project? You're disgusting. All right, settle down, okay? All we have to do is think of a new no, no, plan. No, 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 no. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's no more we.
Hi. Look, I know you're mad at me, but have you seen Frank? Yeah. <laughs> um, he thinks you lied about everything. I didn't. Doesn't matter. He's, he's out half a million dollars because of you. He's coming for his money. I don't have it. He's not going to stop until he finds you, Jake. He'll kill you. Okay, okay, fine. Tell him, look, tell him he can have the condo, all right? The car. I'll, I'll leave the keys for him. Jake, that's not going to work. Frank isn't exactly the kind of person to hold a garage sale. You're going to have to come up with the cash. I lost way more than he did. He doesn't care. I can't pay him, okay? Then you better disappear. Thank you. Have a good one. Hi, uh, number six. Please. It's not going through, sir. Uh, it's a new card. I tried that. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, <clears throat> that. That one doesn't work either, sir. All right. Uh, thanks.
it's me. Um, look, I need your help. What? Your boyfriend's still after me. No, you're not. You're not listening. I need. I just need a place to crash. Anywhere. I don't care. Do you have friends, relatives, someone you don't know? Just. I, I need. I need anything. Anything will help, please. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. Where is he? The bridge on Hawthorne. Tank, meet me in about five minutes. These things happen, okay? It's the market. You make me chase you all over town? You make me chase you like a some jump! Hey, have my, have my car, my condo, it's yours, okay? I want my it's money. Yours. It's yours. I want my money! That's what I want! Take accountability! You got a week! Tell him. What happened to you? Long story. Usually is. I need a gun. Have you ever used one? No. Well, you gotta get training. You gotta be able to use it safely. Here, can, can I trade this for one? We don't do trades here. We're not a pawn shop. I don't have money. Uh, well, I can't do it. That's, that looks like a special watch. You ought to keep it. Hey. 
Name's Al. Jake. Hungry? Apparently. First piece of advice, your sob story is not any better than anyone else in here. So don't think it'll win you any sympathy. I never said that. Where they get the food from, anyway? People fulfill the needs of others anonymously through my neighbor in need. Yeah, I saw that on the way in. It's true. Strangers are helping strangers every day. Let me guess. You were on top of the world, rich and popular. College degree? Yep. <laughs> well, how about that? We got ourselves a speller. Maybe you can help some of the boys with their signs. Number two, don't panhandle at the gray house down the street. They're Canadians. Takes forever to get rid of those quarters. Okay. Three, you need to have prepared answers for the two most common questions you'll get in here. Yeah, what's that? Why are you homeless? I always answer by choice. It takes them a while to come up with a follow-up. And the second question? Well, this place is run by a church, so they'll want to know if you need prayer. What do you say? I always say yes. But you'll need to come up with your own answer. Practice. Do you need to pray with someone? I'm fine. Yeah. I don't think you'll get away with that answer. Why not? Because you're lying. I'm going to get some food. You'd think after 14 hours of work, I could get some sleep. You have a job? I'm homeless, not jobless. Where do you work? On a farm. Really? Yeah, it's a pig farm, nothing, nothing glamorous, but uh, pays the bills. I used to work on a farm. You don't look it. Yeah. yeah that's because I gave it up. Of course you did. For all of this. There may be some work on the farm if you decide to get back into it. No. <laughs> no way. I am done with farm life. It's the Dickinson farm, north on 17. If you change your mind. Thanks, but... I'm good.
Jake! Is that you? Hey. Hey, um, You came. Yeah. Yeah, I came. Did you come to work? Because you've got plenty of work. Yeah, actually, that, that'd be great. Good. Good. Sorry, can I, can I look at that? This? Yeah. Come on, kid. Let's go to work. Yeah, okay. You know, it's hard to believe. What's that? Well, not that long ago, I was buying a speaker system for my condo. Yeah? Yeah, surround sound. Is it any good? I don't know. I never got to use it. Too bad. Yeah. You know, the fall from the top is a lot shorter than you might think. No one ever tells you that either. Jay, it's like... It's real simple. What is? You have a home. Go back to it. No. No, I, I can't go back to the farm. Why not? Because they wouldn't take me. They're your family. No, you don't understand. I, I abandoned them. Okay? I betrayed them. Well, you have a choice. You can stay here with the pigs, or you can go back home to people that truly love you. How do you know they love me? Well, earlier you said your father was a man of faith, right? Yeah. If that's true, then he understands a love that's greater than all sin. <laughs> now, I have a friend who predicted this. What's that? Oh, just that I would come face to face with myself, with God. I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe I could earn their love back, you know? And go back and work on the farm for no pay, just for food. Hey, whatever gets you out of this pig pen. Oh, this is gonna be a lot more painful than losing all my stuff, I'll tell you that. Well, I wouldn't know. I never had surround sound. Thanks, Al. Yeah, sure thing, kid. Death is easy, you don't know your ghost. The fee is taken out, nice and slow. I need you to call these guys. Make sure they're still on board with us, okay? Well, do you want me to email them their new numbers, too? Absolutely. They have to know that we're still viable, okay? My dad has some new numbers we can give them. Dad, you got the new numbers we can give to the vendors? Dad? Dad?
lose us. You didn't lose me. You're my son. You will always be there. going on. I, I read an article that the farm was closing down. Well, our church gave us everything we needed. Our father provided. All our prayers were answered. All of our prayers. Hey, everybody! Look, he's here! Jake? I got these for you. Where'd you get these? I, I got those before you left. And the clothes? The clothes I got for you, just in case. And, and I got this, this ring I want you to have. deserve any of this. Hey. You don't have to do anything to deserve it. I love you. Throwing him a party? Well, your brother has returned. All these years I've worked with you. I've followed your guidance. I've done everything that you've asked of me. You never celebrated me like that. Seth, I have withheld nothing from you. Everything I have is yours. Jake comes crawling back here after wasting everything on who knows what, and you want to celebrate that? We're all together again, and we're celebrating your brother's return home because he was dead, and now he's alive. He was lost, and now he's found. Glad to have you home, honey. Good. Good. Well, okay, I see how it is. You did it, Dad. I mean, we haven't had a party like this since, since the day you left. <laughs> All right. Wow, a, a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. Found it the other day. You like it? You did. I'll have to get used to it. <laughs> so, Dad, I was thinking, um, I know what I want to do. 
you know, for the fun. My two sons, I love you. Me too, Dad. I heard you served coffee in here. Wow, it looks like you got yourself a proper job. Yeah. Told my father I wanted to learn the company from the ground up, so. You went home? Yeah, I did. It's good. Good for you. Um, I, I was a jerk, Summer. Sorry. I really am. You forgive me? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, you think maybe we can just start over? Start whatever. Well, I make deliveries on Wednesdays now, so maybe next week I can take you to dinner. What do you say? Um, well, something expensive? <laughs> yeah, I don't really have that kind of money anymore. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... I was just about to close up, but do you want something? Um, actually, a, a regular coffee would be great. Thanks. That's Jake's story. A man who squandered it all and in return was given something he never expected. A second chance. Jake had a chip on his shoulder as big as a Sierra Madre's, but his stubborn spirit was no match for a father's unconditional love. They say you can't get lost on a one-way street They say you haven't won Back up on your feet, but that's a simpler life in a simpler part of town. They don't know what happens when that city sun goes down.
reflections of the lights look oh so pretty It may be your only chance to see who you are Does the city make you proud of who you Someone 